Hi guys, welcome back to Super Still Gaming. This is Still Arrow with you here. So today I want to talk about how the new Enlisted Pacific campaign is going to affect Enlisted as a whole when it comes out. Discussing some issues with it that could be, and also discussing how people might take it if it's bad and how people might take it if it's good. Real quickly, I just want to say that these are all, of course, my opinions. None of these are set in stone, and there's obviously a spectrum. So even though I will probably be coming from the worst and best case scenario in this video, that doesn't mean that it would actually be that bad or that good. It's just kind of an idea, but there could be many different versions of the way the campaign actually comes out. Okay guys, I want to talk about expectations versus reality. Now, I originally thought this was going to be a really long video, but honestly, I don't think it is, because I think it's a pretty simple thing here. There's a very high amount of expectation for this campaign. A lot is expected of the Pacific, whether it be naval invasions, naval bombardments, entire naval combat, the entire Pacific campaign in general, whatever it is, there's a lot of high expectations for this campaign. But we also have to understand there's reality. There's only so much time, so much money, so much resource, and so many developers Darkflow can put in to this project. So to me, absolute best they're going to get is 75% of what people want. That's just what makes sense to me. And I think maybe the worst case scenario would be if they basically don't even try and just go down into some other road trying to do something different. So how do I think it would play out? How do I think that this campaign get the expectations being met pre pretty well or the expectations not being met pretty well will affect enlisted in, in general? Well, I think the first thing to discuss is how it's going to affect you know, the campaign itself. I think it's going to affect the Pacific campaign in a couple of ways. If it's not good, I think one, it's going to upset a lot of people because I think they're going to feel that they're not being listened to and what they've been asking for is not given. They want something groundbreaking and they weren't given. I think it's also going to hurt list in general in the way of people are not going to want to play. So it's going to, though it's not necessarily going to hurt the rest of the game itself, People are going to be off on their own campaigns, not playing the new one, which is going to be lessening the chance that they're going to buy something for the new campaign. Therefore, it's going to be hurting the entire enlisted game, but it's also going to be hurting the campaign in general. Now, speaking of money, I think where they would fail all the way down to the core, if you guys disagree, let me know, but I truly believe this is where they would really go wrong, is if they try to make it an all-access type of campaign like they did with Stalingrad. I think if they do that, it is going to seriously mess up the campaign. Now, just to be fair, if most people like that, okay, then that's what needs to be there. But I get the feeling that that's not the case and most people don't like that. So I think that does not need to be there. And if they try to have some type of different campaign type strategy where it's like one place and the models aren't that good it's basically normandy 2.0 same battle tactics same real everything i think that's going to be a serious issue and i think that's going to cause major dissension in the campaign and in, in listening itself so guys i completely understand that the problems with it were, were a little bit shallow but the purpose behind me saying it like that is that I just don't really have a complete understanding of exactly what it would look like. I just don't. We haven't seen a campaign like this before. The, you know, this is a different theater of the war, different factions other than the Americans. I just don't know how everything would play out. What I am going to say, though, is how they can make sure to att attempt to avoid a bad campaign is first. First thing I would want to do is I would want to figure out what the main things people want are. What is the main things people want out of this campaign? You know, go to your YouTube community. They always are having polls on things. Look at what people want. Maybe even do some live streams. Have a poll on your forum or on a live stream or something, understanding that. Ask some questions. Try to figure out what people that don't want this campaign, what they're reserved about. Obviously, if they're just reserved about the fact that this campaign's this campaign, you can't do much about that. But there could be other reasons, like they're afraid that the maps are going to be too small, or it's going to be too easy, or it's going to be too repetitive, or whatever it is. 
and try to work to fix those things in order from what people want most to what people want least and try to fix the problems with it from what people think is going to be the biggest problems down to what people think are going to be the least problems. And you need to go over those things. And by doing that, you can kind of make the community feel like, okay, we didn't get everything, but you guys were at least there trying to get in there and give us some thoughts and give us a chance to throw out our opinions. Now, the next thing I would do is I would want to make sure that I took my time with this campaign. If it takes another six months, as much as I hate that, I would make sure that this campaign looks good, runs well, has good models, has all of the things that a good campaign needs. Add a few new battle things. Do some things that hopefully will catch people's attention. Do not add the all access pack unless that's what the overwhelming majority wants. If that is not what the overwhelming majority wants, do not put it in there even if you, even if you guys think it's cool because it all matters what the community wants. So I think that is a very, very important aspect to it. Now, do I think that it's a super, super critical thing if every single expectation gets met? No, you can't. And you have to do the most important things first. And that's why I'm saying do the most important things first. If people really want naval combat, make sure you have some type of naval combat. If people really want naval bombardments, make sure there's naval bombardments. If people want some type of naval invasion map where you're coming in on landing craft, make sure you have those. So I just think there's a lot that needs to be done, and I think you need to start at the top and work down. That's basically my thoughts on it. Now, I understand that's very rambly. I had a lot of things to say on it. I was very passionate. I completely get it, guys. But I was just trying to get the thought across that there's a lot that needs to be done and you need to try to figure out what the community wants. Now, guys, if you have any thoughts on things you think they should do and ways you think the campaign should be brought in, totally let me know. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. I totally want to see it. I do want to throw out the fact that obviously, once again, these are my opinions. I just think that's what needs to be done, and I think that's how it could seriously benefit Enlisted, and it could benefit the campaign. Now, how will it affect Enlisted? Well, I think it's a pretty simple answer. If they make sure that they give the community as much as they can give that the community wants, I think Enlisted's going to go up. I think they're going to get more players. I think things are going to begin to go up. I think people are going to enjoy it. If they really, People are going to be hopefully posted on social media. Hopefully, the campaign will start going in a positive direction. If the campaign fails completely and you have another Stalingrad or worse, I think it's going to begin to go down. We, I really don't think Enlisted can afford another failed campaign. So we're just going to have to see how it goes. Obviously, Stalingrad wasn't a horrible failure, but if it's that bad and worse, that's where we've seriously got some issues. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Totally want to hear your feedback. I'll see you on the Battlefield Soldier. Still here, signing off.